So I was doing some test edits. And on this song, the last one, I cut out that double ending and just kept that in the big ending. Oh, you shouldn't have to hear that. Whatever. I got it in my ears. <laughs> like, we kept that, so we still kept the big ending. Well, in my test edits. <laughs> Hey guys, Billy Ballinger coming at you right here. I'm at TCT, the studios in Akron, Ohio, and check out the green screen. Jody is doing two shows today on Julian Friends, launching her new book, A Beautifully Unbroken, The Prostitute's Daughter. So proud of her. And just want to give you guys a shot of what it looks like in this amazing TV studio. And uh, there's the jib, all that fun stuff. What's crazy is, is that I don't have to do nothing. I just get to sit around and carry Jody's bags and and uh, let her be in the limelight so I get to chill and drink coffee and send text messages and make little videos like this and let y'all know how much we appreciate you and love you. Thanks for all your support and uh, we'll see you on the Winter Jam Tour soon. Bye-bye. Hey, I just thought I'd drop in here and uh, just give a shout out real quick. Jody and I are on our way to Nashville, Tennessee today and ironically, the reason for our trip is because as we prepare for Winter Jam Tour, we're on our way to Nashville to meet with our tour bus company today to, to um, take, a look, take a look at the bus that we're going to be using for my band and also all the Break the Gray, uh, our director of internship and all the Break the Gray interns uh, and Jody and myself. So it's a lot of people going on the bus and so um, I like keeping you guys updated. But this is a really cool story. So we're traveling through Indianapolis on the south side of Indianapolis and we're, where we used to live. Now we live in Fort Wayne, Indiana, but we're, we're driving by and I remembered um, when I actually, when I woke up this morning, I actually remembered that years ago, I used to keep a picture of a tour bus in my Bible. And this was the early 2000s. I had just recorded uh, my first record, my first two or three albums. And I had a picture of a tour bus I kept in my Bible. And I kept, I kept looking at that and praying over it and looking at that picture of that tour bus saying that I would have one. And uh, then after, I don't know, 2005, maybe something like that, 2006, I was kind of like, well, I, I probably don't need one of those. I'll just travel in cars and fly here and fly there in vans and things like that. And fly in planes and drive in vans. That's a good idea. Um, anyway, so, um, and so what I reminded Jody, I said, man, here we are today on our way to Nashville. Isn't that just God? How we're on our way to Nashville to meet with the tour bus company, start working out all the details for the tour bus. We leave on tour on the 6th of January. That's like just a little bit over 30 days, 30 some days. And and yet years ago, I had that picture in my Bible and I haven't had it in there for years and years and years now. It just goes to show you that God does not forget what you prayed for. Uh, one more thing I wanna say about that. As we were passing through Indianapolis on the south side of Indy, I remembered there was a bus place years ago, a long time ago, after we recorded our first few records, and we wanted to go and just, uh, we wanted to go look at one. That's all. We, so we just go to the, the dealership that sells these buses. Actually, it was just a very large RV, and you know that they would not even allow me and Jody to look at the bus. They just wouldn't even let us in it. If you were not ready to buy, the guy wasn't interested in showing us the inside. So we're like, thank you very much. And we left. And I remember when we left there thinking, he doesn't know. He doesn't know where we're headed. And probably in my heart, I was thinking, you know, he doesn't know our God. So I'm not against that guy, but I'm saying, man, when there's times in your life when you think nothing's happening, just keep going, keep moving ahead. Don't give up. Don't quit because more is happening than what you think. It's when you stop moving forward that things stop so I mean there's just something about you know, the Bible teaches us faith without works is dead so um, put some works to your faith keep moving forward and watch the things that you prayed about even as a little kid come to pass in your life and uh, I just thought that was a really cool story love y'all have a good day all right guys I'm gonna kind of give you the demonstration this used to be the back lounge but this will have a bed that's just a twin but it'll have a bigger bed that'll go to about right there which i'll still be able to have my table there's a little bit of storage in here that's flat right there 
There's a window, there's a telephone. You should need to call mom. And this has got some storage in it. And television with President Trump on it. <laughs> and more closet space. Now, not each coach is exactly the same, but they're pretty close. All right, so then we got a microwave. We have a refrigerator. Right down there. I'm not doing very good. And then, aha. Now this one doesn't have the shower in it, but the one we're getting will have a shower. There's your coffee maker, seats. Fit about 10 people in this lounge at one time. And this is with this, the slide out is out right now. Um, okay, probably making everybody dizzy. Hey guys, I'm just trying to prove to you guys that I promise you, you can fit on this bus. So no complaining, watch this. Okay, so this is for Brad Gimberling, guitarist. All right, let's check this out, Brad. You are about three or four inches taller than me, and my head is all the way up, and I still got probably eight inches down there. Yes, like plenty of room. You do. So, on this bus. Anyway, <laughs> on this on this bus right here. So anyway, okay. very comfortable, and uh, also I can bend my leg, and I won't hit my knee up there. So. <laughs>